I've been preaching uh, the last couple of Sundays on uh, elements of the book of Revelation and how in heaven we uh, participate in the wedding feast of the Lamb. We have all of the saints and angels united with God and, and, and the church, which means the assembly, the, the people, comes down out of heaven prepared like a bride for the bridegroom who is Jesus, the Lamb of God. But that's the end. What we read in chapter 12 is that there was a battle, there was a war that broke out in heaven. <clears throat> and when the devil is defeated and, and thrown down to the earth, then a loud voice in heaven says, now have salvation and power come and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed is anointed again is Jesus Christ. The, uh, the Hebrew for anointed is Messiah. The Greek for anointed or the anointed one is Christus or Christ. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out who, accused, who accuses them before our God day and night. The devil's plan is to separate us from God and from one another. That's his plan. And so he lies to us about who God is, and he stands before the throne of God and he accuses us. So the devil encourages us to sin, and then he goes before God and says, see they're sinners, throw them out. But the accuser has been cast out. And how did they conquer him? By the blood of the lamb. In other words, the, the, the crucifixion, the death, the resurrection, and the ascension of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's not that the angels came with their own power. It's that they came in the power of Jesus Christ, who loves us to the end and who loves us so as to spill his blood for us. And that's what we celebrate in Mass, the wedding feast of the Lamb. We participate in an unbloodied way in the one sacrifice of Jesus Christ that took place 2,000 years ago, but continues to this day every time we say Mass, and it continues in heaven in the great wedding feast of the Lamb. Sometimes people say, oh, Catholics believe that they re-crucify Jesus. No, Jesus died once for all. But we unite ourselves with Jesus on the cross and with Jesus in heaven in the wedding feast of the Lamb every time we come to Mass. <clears throat> they conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, we need to recommit ourselves. We need to testify before God and the world that we belong to Jesus, that we are Christ's. Love for life did not deter them from death. In other words, we physically die when we die. But we offer ourselves over and over and over again. We can only die once. But we can offer ourselves with Jesus in the Mass every single day. And that is our testimony. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. And so let us rejoice. Rejoice that we are called and invited to participate in heaven, even here on earth. And when we are at Mass, we are closer to those who have gone before us than we were ever able to be when they were on earth. We are united with them 
and a participation in heaven. And so they are with you here. Everyone that you have loved and has gone before you, they are here. And God lifts us up at Mass to be with them in heaven. That's the good news.